Hey guys, it's Derek Okahashi with Moving to Oahu. Today's video is about PCSing here to the island of Oahu in Hawaii. So we're gonna show you everything from your airplane ride to the airport, getting set up in temporary lodging, getting your rental car. I'm gonna teach you guys some tricks about how to save money and actually get inventory, get something in stock in terms of furniture and appliances. And at the end, I'm even gonna give my recommendation on the best place to relax when you PCS here to Hawaii on your first day. So you're on the airplane, you're PCSing to Hawaii. If you're on, lucky enough to be on Hawaiian Airlines, they start playing that Hawaiian music. And they give you that agriculture form to fill out and that uh, asks you things like, did you bring any fruit? Do you have this, do you have that? Disclose whatever you have in your baggage and in your carry-on. In Hawaii, they don't want bugs and things like that coming from the mainland or from other parts of the world because it is a homogenous environment in terms of the ecosystem. So anyways, when that form comes out, that means you're getting close to landing here in Hawaii. So that reminds me of one thing. Pro tip number one, if you're able to get approved from your transportation office or depending on your service, how they set up your orders, I recommend flying Hawaiian Airlines. The experience of flying Hawaiian Airlines and coming here to Hawaii is just, in my opinion, better than any of the other airlines. Alaska might be cheaper, Southwest might be cheaper, but if you can fly Hawaiian, the experience, the feeling of aloha of Hawaiian culture is a lot better. I recommend doing that. Okay, so another advantage of flying Hawaiian Airlines is that you'll be a little bit closer to the transportation, rental cars, things like that that you need. If you fly Southwest, because Southwest is newer to Hawaii, your terminal is going to be really far. One thing to keep in mind when you fly to Hawaii is you may have to walk outside. So when you get off the airplane, you're gonna end up walking outdoors. So you might wanna shed that hoodie or whatever you may have been wearing on the plane. In addition, you're gonna go through an agriculture line. Because I'm not flying today, I can't take you through the agriculture line, but basically you're gonna get off the airplane, you're gonna walk for a while, you may take a shuttle depending on where you are. And then there's gonna be a line where you have to pass your bags through. So I talked about that agriculture form that kind of signifies uh, that you're getting close to the islands, that your trip's almost over. Probably about 45 minutes out from landing, maybe an hour. So in addition to that, you're gonna go through a line where you're gonna put your bags through kind of a screening thing like you would do at TSA. And they're gonna check with uh, heat sensors or whatever it is they do to see if you have plants in your bags. So be ready for that. When you land, you actually have uh, several minutes more before you get here to the baggage terminal. So I told, I told all the people on YouTube to fly Hawaiian Airlines. Aloha. You agree? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just the way they dress, the, the food, the juices, the lily koi, it's just a different experience. So I definitely recommend flying Hawaiian. You filled out your agriculture form on the airplane, you landed, you made the long walk, went through the agriculture line where they're checking to see if you have the fruits and plants, you make it down to baggage claim, you actually get your baggage, now we have to get you some kind of transportation. So maybe you're getting a rental car. Maybe you're not quite on orders yet. You're just here to check the island out, look for a home, whatever the case may be. Or maybe your car is at the shipping dock at the Matson terminals. We're gonna talk about all of those things next. All right guys, so you gotta get a rental car. If you're having to pay for your rental car, there's a couple of different options. Check out Hickam Air Force Base. They have an enterprise. Uh, rental car one time when I was stationed in California and my wife and I came back we rented a truck a four-door truck from the rental car place there on Hickam Air Force Base and it was like more than half the cost of these guys if you are gonna rent one of these you're gonna have to jump on a shuttle they're gonna take you maybe about a mile away to the rental car place and you're gonna pick out your car over there hey uncle I got the Shaka, so I got the Shaka from the, the Dollar, Thrifty, whatever, uh, rental car place. But yeah, you have to catch a shuttle to go, get the, to go get your rental car over there. There are some discount options here around the airport. I'd say check those out uh, at your own risk because you might end up getting an old beater. But hey, you'll blend in. Okay hey guys, so we're here at the Navy Lodge on Ford Island. I brought you guys here because if I were PCSing here to the island, this is one of the top places that I would want to stay while we're on my TLA, my house hunting, all of that stuff. So there's the Halekoa in town, so don't forget about that. It's a cool military hotel in Waikiki, but they have a pirate ship in the pool for the kids and all of that stuff. 
but I don't prefer to deal with the traffic in Waikiki, depending on what my schedule is gonna be like. If I'm gonna be house hunting, driving all across the island, doing all of that sort of stuff, I'd rather be more central here on Fort Island, right next to the Arizona Memorial. There's a playground over there for the kids, not far from the gym. It's a good safe place to just run around the island and exercise. If you need food, you're not too far from Pearl Ridge Shopping Center over there. There's a down to earth, like vegan grocer to get some healthy food. There's all kinds of stuff. You're so centrally located. So if you wanna to shoot to the east side on the H3 and take a beautiful drive over to the east side of the island, if you wanna to jump to the west side and take a look at homes in Eva Beach, whether you're renting, buying, doesn't matter. It's just a good, peaceful place to stay. It's super quiet, we have the birds chirping right around us. Uh, dog park over there, so if you were able to, to you know, bring your dog on the plane then, and, and not have to go through the whole quarantine process, there's a dog park right there. So just a great place to stay. If you wanna do the Halekoa thing, stay in Waikiki, get that whole tourist experience, then doing it on your TLA is a great option. It's a really cool place. Uh, a lot more food options right there in your hotel or right next to it. But for a more peaceful place that's just kind of quiet, let the kids run around, not have to worry about anything. You'll have to go get your food somewhere else, but the Navy Lodge is a nice option for TLA if you can get it. There is a hotel in Hickam as well. I do not recommend that one as much. I'd much rather stay here at the Navy Lodge uh, as long as you don't mind driving to get stuff. It's definitely a more peaceful option. I might just bring the family here to stay for the weekend just to unwind actually. So the kids don't have to mess my house up. They can uh, run around this place, swim if the swimming pool are open and uh, play in the playground over here. So next we're gonna go check out AMR housing, show you a housing option here on the island. So you can see in the picture here, these houses have pretty good sized yards. Some are duplexes, some are single family, depends on you know, rank and size of your family, stuff like that. This is just some of the most popular uh, military housing on the island. Very centrally located, especially if you're at Pearl Harbor Hickam. From my Coast Guard brethren, not too far from Sand Island. Not a terrible commute to Air Station Barbers Point. So over there you can see there's a, some of the duplex homes. There's actually a church here. They have a preschool, a daycare. There's a community center. So I've been to birthday parties here and this, there's a splash park, uh, a theater you can rent out as a part of the birthday party. So just a, you know, a cool, very common uh, place for military members to live. So here's a youth activity center on the left. There's a gym inside there, so you'll see people you know, playing basketball, futsal, volleyball, all of that sort of stuff. Over here are some softball fields. Oh, well, we'll get out and walk you guys around. Really, you know, everything you need. So if you're not interested in buying or buying it's not the right time for you because you're only gonna be here for a year or two years or something, then AMR is a pretty good housing option. And what I like about it too is you don't have to go through a gate, so you don't have to go through a base. You know, for like Kaneohe Marine Corps Base is really nice housing on a beautiful part of the island. But at the same time, you know, you may not be allowed to wear tank tops and open toe shoes or stuff, stuff like that. That's not conducive to my lifestyle, so I wouldn't want to live there. This would be a cooler option. If you decide you're going to live in housing and buying isn't the right thing for you and you don't mind living in military housing, I know some people prefer not to then uh, this could be a, a great option. This is one of the rooms where they have birthday parties and stuff. I can see it's closed now because of COVID. They're not allowing events. Across there, there's the theater. So with the birthday parties, you can have the theater as well. Play Disney movies for the kids or whatever it may be. Just a really cool spot. Even if you decide not to live here, find someone to help you rent it out. It's a great place to host birthday parties and stuff. All right, guys, so we're just leaving the community center. I'm gonna take a left here and just show you around the neighborhood a little bit. Like I said, for me, if I were gonna live in military housing, AMR is a fair option because you don't have to go through like a guard shack or anything like that. At least not one where anyone's attending. It's a nice little safe spot. You know, you might end up in a duplex or in a single family house, depending on your rank. Decent sized yards for Hawaii, good sized houses. More modern construction than a lot of places in Hawaii, so that's something to consider as well. Buying is another option that I believe everyone should explore when they're PCSing here, but it's not the right time for everyone to buy. So I wanna make sure that, you know, I'm not that agent who's like, you should always buy, because that's not always the case. 
You know, I don't know if you're making chief or you're making master sergeant and you're gonna PCS right out of here pretty soon. Go ahead. And so you're only gonna be on the island for a year or something, then yeah, it may very well not be the right time for you to buy. So to give you an idea, I had a good friend who lives, I don't know, right, maybe on this street here, but um, he was going to buy, didn't buy, was going to buy. And had he bought this past summer, uh, he'd probably, in my best estimation, he'd probably be walking away from the island in two to three years with a good sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 in equity. That doesn't always happen. You know, sometimes if you buy at just the wrong timing, then you may lose money. So those are things that you definitely have to consider. But in terms of evaluating the risk to benefit when buying and running the numbers, looking at how long your billet is here, what are your exit strategies? That's really what I specialize in. I love going over that stuff. And I love just teaching you about the island. So even if you're dead set on staying here at AMR or somewhere similar, still give me a call if you have any questions about the island. I love teaching people about this place. So there is a little shop at here on AMR. You can get your gas. And one thing they have here that they don't actually have, I think anywhere else on the island, probably not important to most people, but uh, they have, uh, boiled peanuts, like southern style peanut patch, boiled peanuts. I'm going the wrong way, just so I can show you guys the, the little shop at exchange thing here. And there's a Domino's as well. You still do have some base security roaming around, military police, stuff, stuff like that. I think they might actually be coming after me right now. One big thing that a lot of the places have on AMR, maybe all of them actually is a garage. In Hawaii, a lot of people may not have garages. You may be in a townhome with common parking. Carports are super normal in Hawaii and older style construction. So you actually have this carport thing that's not enclosed and you can't put your, you know, your tools and all of those things as open and feel as safe. So if a garage is super important to you, you can't make the numbers work with buying, then AMR is a good option for that. Another obvious consideration is the fact that if you have dogs. So in Hawaii, it can be hard to find a rental if you have uh, pets. And if you have large pets or multiple pets, it'll get even harder. So a lot of people choose to either buy or to stay in housing for that reason alone, because their pets who are members of their family aren't able to stay in rentals. So they're stuck buying or they're stuck in housing and some of my clients strictly based off of that they will not live in housing and because they don't prefer uh, to live in housing and they can't rent then they end up purchasing amr puts you super close to the navy exchange it's right around the corner here and we're going to show you guys that next so you can look at where to get your furniture your appliances and i'm going to give you some other options that could save you some money behind me is the navy exchange furniture store i think this is probably the best pricing on the island for ashley furniture there are a couple other ashley furniture home stores here locally on the island the difference is they're going to have more inventory the other advantage of the exchange obviously is that you do not pay taxes in addition to the navy exchange furniture store make sure you check out hickam so i was just buying a couch for my new home recently and the navy exchange president's day sale was already finished but hickam still had their sale going and they had the reverse option of the sectional thing that i was trying to buy we wanted this but our house definitely isn't big enough and it has those pillows i could have i could have lived with the pillows that come off for this couch because it's so comfortable because my kids they would they make forts and stuff so requirement for this one was a couch where the the backing is sewed in so this is going to be perfect for our little house but we need the reverse for the way our living room is. So Hickam had the reverse option and they still had the president's sale going on. So instead of 1349, it was, I don't know, like $800 or something, under a thousand for sure. And I would, I imagine if you went off base to get this, it would probably be 16, 1800, I'm not sure. Another thing is, these are all Ashley furniture products. So anything in the Ashley catalog they can get, but if you're gonna be special ordering, so if you need to special order the reverse of this from the Navy exchange, expect about 12 weeks. Sometimes it can be eight, but eight to 12 weeks to get your stuff in, uh, or just make sure that the other exchanges don't have what you need already. And then sometimes they have these scratcher sales. So you, you scratch off uh, 
like a discount code. It's almost always 5%, but in theory, I guess you could get like 10 to 25% off. Being that the Navy Exchange Furniture Store and Hickam are right next to each other, they may be a five minute drive apart. Uh, this is your one-stop shop going between Hickam and the Navy Exchange to get all of the Ashley furniture that you need. If you need something a little more modern, you may go to Inspiration here on the island or a place called Red Knot that's associated with those other furniture stores. But for most of your furniture needs, for your basic couches and your basic tables and stuff, you're definitely going to save a lot of money by going here to the exchange, whether it be at the Navy Exchange or at the Hickam Exchange. All right, guys, so I couldn't do a video about moving to Oahu or PCSing without telling you where to get your appliances and furniture. Behind me is the Navy Exchange Appliance Center. They have good pricing. You don't pay taxes. It's about $70 for delivery. There is a fee to take away your old appliances if that's what you're doing. If you need to get new appliances, this is a great place for it. But I also have a guy. I have a guy at Best Buy who can get all of these appliances. Uh, the delivery fee is actually free and he'll give me a, a discount to meet or beat these prices usually. If you need appliances, hit me up. I'll put you in contact with my guy and we'll see if we can beat these prices and get you a free delivery. You got here to the island, you made it through the airport, got your rental car, got your furniture, appliances, figured out where you're gonna live, whether that's base housing or you're gonna explore buying. This is the place I would recommend to hang out at the end of the day. After your first day or during that first week, you need to go to a beach. Uh, actually, a family that I was helping last year who was PCSing in, at the end of the day, after looking at homes, we went and hung out here. It's just a really good, safe place with lifeguards on duty. The Hawaiian ocean, the Hawaiian waters, especially depending on what time of year you get here, can be extremely rough. Summer on the South Shore can be really rough waves, but especially in the winter on the North Shore, can be extremely dangerous. People die every year. If you're used to a place like Florida and you first come to Hawaii, in Florida there's no reef. In Hawaii there's reef all over the place. You walk in the water, you might cut your feet up. Hickam Air Force Base is a good safe place. No big waves. You can paddle board, you can have fun in the ocean. You don't have to navigate the reef. You don't have to navigate big waves. Shore break that we call it. It's just a good place for you to settle in and relax on your first few days here. And then after that, you need to get used to the ocean. Give me a call, we'll, we'll graduate you to the more dangerous spots after that. Right down the beach here, there's a place called the Lanai. So your kids are old enough to play by themselves. You and the spouse can go get a drink, maybe watch the game, do whatever down here, get some good food, kids can play. Okay guys, thanks for watching another video on moving to Oahu with Derek Okahashi. If you're PCSing or moving here to the island, make sure to give us a call, send us an email, visit our website. Comment in the comment section below. Let us know what other videos you guys want to see. Subscribe up here. We're going to be making tons more videos every week about moving and PCSing here to the island. So if there's something we haven't covered or if there's a neighborhood that you want to see that we haven't shown you yet, please let us know. I'm going to go take a swim.